Hi, today we're going to be talking about a lot of books. Um, I'd like to talk about how I became more into the literature-based type history and um, share with you some of the books that we have enjoyed and how I found them. And it doesn't always have to be the curriculum you choose. Um, you can still enjoy books, even if it's not a literature-based curriculum that you're using. So, my name is Rachel, and um, I have four boys. I've been homeschooling for 13 years. Um, my oldest is 19, and my youngest is nine. So, um, I first want to mention to you how I sort of, not even sure how I came about this particular book. It's all through the ages, history through literature guide. And um, like I said, I wish I could step back and remember how I found out about this book. But I ordered it, probably used, off of eBay. But what it is, is it's um, chronological, about history from the Renaissance. Um, has everything in here from ancient Renaissance um, to the industrialization age. And then it also has... Um, um, things about like Australia, all the different continents, Indonesia, Ireland, particular. And what it will do, so let's look at one section. It will say, okay, well, just ancient Greece. It will give you a list of resources for all ages, which I would probably consider like a spine. And then it um, gives you an overview for like first through third grade, some book options, um, fourth through sixth grade. Overview of the air, and then um, it'll give you high school. They'll give you also, also give you literature choices, not just reading about it, but maybe a literature book that would correlate with that. Um, all the way up to twelfth grade, it divides it up. So um, this was very helpful when I first started homeschooling. Um, just finding books that I felt, and I feel like everything I pulled out of here was good. And really, what I probably did was I looked it up, got an idea would my kids be interested in that, um, at that age level, and I feel like I have a, a lot of pages marked, I have a lot of bread markings in there, so this was a helpful book. There are probably other ones out there like that, so if you can get your hands on something like this, it's very helpful. Um, a few ideas that um, came out of that book and I was not overly looking for them, but I found them like at a used curriculum sale. And that is probably where I have found a lot of my books, either used somewhere, even the discount store, even the Goodwill. It's amazing what people will just drop off. I found these cornerstone of freedom books. They're older. I don't even know if you can buy them new. Um, this particular one my son now in fourth grade has loved and probably looked at it a hundred times but it's about the USS Arizona he's all into World War II but it's you know it has some pictures um, let's see yeah there's it, like I said it's older the pictures are going to be older but the information is all there um, they have underground underground railroad um, the Costago Wagon, Boston Tea Party, the Pony Express, and they even have some that you can find about people, Paul Revere. And I, I have so much more than these, but I found them for hardly nothing um, at a homeschool curriculum. And I think it was just a larger family that was probably almost done and was getting rid of their books. So that was a blessing and a good find. Hopefully, if you're interested in something like that, I know they sell them in bulk packs on like eBay. You can find particular ones. I have found them at um, a used bookstore. And so I know I have gotten several other books also from all through the ages. I just remember finding that find and I was so excited. So, but that was when my oldest was probably nine, um, maybe even younger. So it was a long time ago. Um, but also, I, I probably did get this idea off here. 
growing up in ancient Rome, Greece, I also have one on Egypt, and um, China, ancient China, um, and I probably ordered these used. I don't know if I actually found these somewhere. I think I just ordered them. Um, they're by Troll Associate, Associates, T-R-O-L-L. -L. So, and those are real good for ancient history, even, this is an Usborne book. If you can find some of the older ones, they're really good too. It doesn't have to be something brand new. So, and um, also we used, I mean, I found coloring books, ancient Egypt, the Romans, ancient Rome, and they could color while mama read to them about that particular error. So, ancient history, this is on the shore of the Great Sea. And I think I, a teacher recommended this, but also um, I think it was in that book too. But it starts all the way from the home of Abraham to the Roman Empire. So it has history and biblical. If you just want to read this to your youngsters, it's very easy reading. They will understand first through third grade. And really, I mean, you could use it for older, four through six. And then, really, they could read it themselves. So, wanted to share that with you about ancient history. Then, I also wanted to show you some other places that I do find books. Um, and this is mostly history, but I will tell you, for my boys, most of them want something. Is this real, Mom? <laughs> Did this really happen? Um, I have one that would probably read some fiction as long as there was some possible truth to it. So, but most of them, not all boys are that way, but um, a lot of them are. And that's how mine were. But I went to a very small um, homeschool convention. It was a small one. And I just picked up catalogs and um, a lady friend who had homeschooled all her children mentioned these particular ones that she did not use their curriculum but she would pull books from them and one of them was sunlight and this is a very old catalog that I have had probably since then but I liked the layout of this like I would get a new catalog but they didn't really show pictures or give as much detail about the books and um, so I've never used their curriculum but I have looked through and thought oh I might check out that book. Um, another one, let's see, was Veritas. And um, I still think I get catalogs from them and some of their books correlate. Um, so that is another company, Veritas. I haven't, I've never used any of their curriculum, but. Um, and the ones I've mentioned so far, if you were able to go to um, a homeschool convention, I'm trying to think if they actually have curriculum fairs, I'm not sure, but um, I know there's homeschool conventions in our state, that those three would definitely be there. So, and another one that would be there is YWAM. And they have Christian um, heroes now and then, and they also have history heroes. And I'll show you some of those books. George Washington Carver, Douglas MacArthur, and these, those are the history ones. And then like a Christian one would be Jacob DeShazer, Nate Saint, and they also have recordings, which I have one son. He's actually my oldest. Um, last year was listening to some of these because he had to drive a ways to work. But um, like Benj Benjamin Rush, Ronald Reagan, and we have several other more. I was just going to show you that they have these on audio. So I'm going to mention a couple other that I do not have the books the catalogs for is Beautiful Feet, 
they have a wonderful selection of books. Um, I was trying to think of the other one that I have pulled books from. If I remember, I will let you know. This curriculum is Heart of Dakota, and that is what we are using this year for my fourth grader and my ninth grader. And they actually have a reading, pro they not only have their curriculum, but they also have a reading program in here where I have not used their reading program, but I have pulled their books ideas for that age um, and it's worked out great and they've always been good reads so just wanted to share those catalogs with you and some of those books and then a few more <laughs> a few more other things um, these when my oldest was younger he really enjoyed um, childhood of famous Americans and he was into Davy Crockett and Daniel Boone and he would read those. Then he got curious about other people. Astronauts, George Washington, Harry Houdini, and Robert E. Lee. Okay, another um, series that I just got this past year, or last year, is Ivan, and there's several. This is The Informer, um, The Daring Escape. So the book is, um, really about this young boy whose family is a Christian and the stands that they have to make and the secrets they have to hide under. And, um, but it's, I went ahead and read it out loud and he really enjoyed it. I think he read one of them himself. So, um, The Daring Escape, The Informer, The Hidden Bible, Secret in the Suitcase, and An American Journey. So, and I think this is the one they read, so I don't know what happened, but. So, that was a very good set. Enjoyed those. Um, these are fun. I don't know. Um, the Imagination Station from the Odyssey. They have some that books. And um, these are good books for kids that don't like to read. They're easy reads, but I think because of it being something from the Odyssey that they'll be curious enough to pick it up and to read it and learn about a little bit about history. Escape from the Hiding Place, um, Secret of the Princess Tomb, um, Captured on the High Seas. So these are real good. I'm trying to see if they have an age on them. But I, I want to say at least, you know, nine, nine years old for those. Um, here's another. This is an audio. And I tell you the truth, I'm not sure if they have it in a book. I'm sure it's a book form. I don't know. Um, it's Bud and Me and a Dove Creek Press audio book about two brothers that um, when Teddy Roosevelt was president across the country, their adventures it's really good um, this would be a fun a fun listen for boys for sure all the adventures they had a couple, I think I just have a couple more series and then I want to mention some more audios um, this is the Viking quest we actually our curriculum is has us reading one of these the first one this is three four and five the second one might be in another one of the Heart of Dakota's curriculum, but these are real good. And reading level, I would probably say over 10, or just the comprehension of it. But some audios I wanted to, to mention was, of course, um, Adventures in Odyssey. This is one of my favorite. It is um, The Power of God's Truth. So this was really, really good. So your story hour, are really good for history um, they have several this is like this is album six but it's a mixture of stories like you have Abraham Lincoln you have Thomas Edison and um, several other stories I think Columbus is on here Booker T Washington so there's um, and it's just someone reenacting the story of that person so those are good and they also have your story hour Bible stories and this is two, I think this is about um, 
Moses. So, and um, he's been listening to that. He likes to build Legos and listen to something, and he's been enjoying these. So, one other set that I want to mention is the Trailblazer books. These are um, usually based on a missionary, and some of them are have to do with history. This is like um, William Booth, and I have one on John Bunyan. I have a huge series that I actually found used, and um, here's one on Martin Luther, and it's usually um, the story of that person, but with fictional characters that are with him, following him along, telling the story. Uh, my boys have really enjoyed these, so, and those were another type of um, historical, but also Christian um, books, so. Another one that um, we have enjoyed, and we actually, I think I may have read this once, but we usually get this on the, re um, the library has a recording of it, and it's The Door in the Wall. This is actually one of the books that I will use for my fourth graders curriculum this year, and it's about um, a young nobleman and just his adventure with a, with a monk, and um, it's very good. Have some good moral lessons in it. So um, I actually found this. I don't know how I found this book. Um, I was probably out of one of those, like a sunlight catalog or something. I don't remember. I could be wrong, but um, because I know we read, had listened to this on um, CD before I really got into um, this particular um, part of history. So wanted to share that with you. Thank you so much for watching this video about my books and um, if you have some good suggestions for books that could correlate with history or even some good series please tell us below. Love to hear from you and thank you for watching. If you like this type of video please put thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much.